The multimeter indicator is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and apply it to the chart. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how the indicator works and operates. From the Navigator section, you select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to activate the Allow DLL Imports option from the Settings section and then click on OK. Once the indicator is activated on the chart, it displays various indicators professionally next to each other in the form of a histogram. This histogram not only shows the status of various indicators, but also issues buy and sell signals. In the settings section, under inputs, there are options available to us. The first part relates to the display settings of the indicator, which includes a theme or template specific to the indicator that has three sections, light, dark, and custom. By selecting the light option, a light template is applied to the chart. The template on my chart is the dark option, which selects a dark template. The next part is custom, which retains your personalized template and only runs the indicator on the chart. The following sections pertain to the five main indicators of the multimeter. The first part relates to the stochastic oscillator, including the settings for the period of the stochastic the settings for the de-stochastic, and the settings for the stochastic slow line. The next part relates to the moving average, which includes the settings for the period of the moving average, and the settings for the shift of the moving average. The next part pertains to the MACD settings, the settings for the fast MACD moving average period, the slow MACD moving average period, and the signal line period of the MACD are next. The following part pertains to the settings for the moving average over, the settings for the fast LWMI, and the period settings for the slow LWMI are included. And the last part relates to the settings for the parabolic star indicator. You can adjust the step settings of the parabolic star and the precise stop settings of the parabolic star from this section. Here I will select the dark template and then click the confirm option. And as you can see in my chart, my template has changed to a dark template and the indicator is running on my chart, where you can observe the various histograms of the indicators along with the cell signal. Well friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your thoughts and suggestions with us in the comments section.